Hey, good afternoon, neighbor. Here we are. It's kind of bright out, um, hazy, <clears throat> and I have this purple martin house that I've been working on for a couple of years. Last year, the starlings got it, um, but so purple martins old houses they used to always sell them with round holes well turns out that the round holes are not liked I mean the sterlings get into them real easy as you can see here where I there's the top of the old hole right here is wrap it was circle okay so time your research is and you do a crescent it makes it harder for the sterlings to get in but the purple martins have no problem doing that I must have done something wrong because it is still too big now the whole diameter is supposed to be three inches and I have three inches Okay, but then you only take the top one and a half ish, actually one and three eighths, I believe. So that is not bad. However, it's not working. So I've printed out a new hole template that I am going to cut out of some new plastic. Replace these. Further research shows that single compartments like this, although work, are not the best because males don't like to be, males don't like to have neighbors. So you'll get one male here defending these two holes so nobody will go there anyways. They usually don't mind someone on a different level. So what I'm going to do so I'm going to take this 12 apartment complex, bring it down to four. And so I will cover up two holes and leave a hole with the new modified opening. Cover up these two, leave this one. And opposite on the other side. Now, one of the predators that likes to come in and get the baby purple martins are owls. Alice can usually get in here and get the babies. So, having two rooms per Purple Mountain family is the way to go. Now we can either do sideways or back to front. I'm not sure which way I'm going to go. I mean, it's I'm going to have two dead ones anyway, so I'll probably go. Let's see here. I do this one and that one. I do this one and this one. And then I go front to back. So if I were, if this was the entrance, I'd put another hole here. And then block this one totally off. And the Pert Martins will nest back here. This will be like their front room. I went out, cannot reach all the way through and get them. So that's what I'm doing. I am unscrewing my previous screws. And you see I protect them on the back side with some goop. I forget where it was, but they're not pokey anymore. So yeah, that's where I'm there's the plastic crescent shape that I had made before. Okay, took that off so that I can have a template. Mm -hmm. I drew my three inch diameter circles, but I decided I don't want to use clear. I like the opaque better. So I found this little tub. So, there's a template I laid. And I traced over the old one so I couldn't use it in the same holes. There's the new shape. Both of those off. That's what I'm going to cut out. Got this line across. 
This material was too brittle. It just kept breaking too much. It was quite difficult to even get something that out. See, it just kept breaking. So, I tried it with this. Just a lid from a storage bin. Much more pliable. And I also noticed that using regular scissors helps as opposed to tin snips. Tin snips seem to uh, make it make the plastics crack more. So uh, as you can see, I've got my one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight blanks. One, two, three, and four uh, 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 uh. Uh, holes. So just gonna get to cutting them out. So I have all the new doors on. You can see how those are blocked off. This is the top. You can see the first thing I did, I also added a hole. So there's now two rooms. Come in here and go all the way back there and you can see the closed one in the back. So the front room where the back room is the nest and make a little hole to get the birds used to climbing through holes. They can hang out here in the front room during the day and at night time they go back to the nest because owls have been known to reach in to small apartments and grab out babies. Snakes too. So I'm just going to take the centerpiece out. Right. And I can tell where the bottom is. It sits in risers, so I'm going to put it right in the middle. Yep. Not quite at the bottom, but pretty fairly close. So now the edges are kind of rough. So what I do is I take a knife, but I don't use a sharpen because then I end up cutting into it and I want it nice and smooth. I take the back side of the blade. I want this to be nice and smooth. So there you go going to be going through that and you don't want the feathers to get caught and everything. It's plastic and it tends to melt if you do too much. Just want to get the rough edges off. I don't want to cut new. Cancel the cross practice. They should. It's flipping hot out. With these fifth graders running around this heat. Feel good to cool off though. room dividing holes the 
this is where the pole goes through. Sits on this bracket the correct way. Good. coming out the pole is coming out of the top which it shouldn't this I marked it right there seven sixteenths which I mark on the inside there too I have to have one time a year I have to figure it out I don't need to go looking This secures the top side of the pole. Notice how these are offset. They're not right in the middle. Those go up top, so it's easier to screw them in. Tighten them down. Get back, you just flip it. Tighten it. Yeah, I can't get the full one, so if I flip it, get back a little further. It's pretty tight. Now the roof cap goes on. They definitely like it to be in the same orientation every time. There we go. Let's see if those sparrows actually get it to work coming this time or not. I hear them. Good. Project done. I like it. Hopefully the birds, Purple Martins will come. I know that the the adults are here, but the sub-adults are now coming up and the sub-adults are yearlings and they need to find a new home for the first time. Hopefully that's what we're producing, giving them. And tonight, or tomorrow morning, I'm also gonna start playing their dawn song which should help them attract them as well. But there we are. Thanks for being my neighbor.